We're moving to new things. Today, special day, we take possession of our new house. Stop. Full business? The full business. Come in. Enter, enter, enter. It's so easy to stick to what you have got. And then everybody just walks in that direction and going right or left is a little bit too much for them or there's a little bit too much fear or it's gonna cost too much money or you're gonna upset that person or whatever. And I just want you to think outside the box every day just that little bit differently than maybe you had done before. Because if you can do that, your life will change exponentially. If we can look at it at like the super, super opportunity of the don't know factor. Everybody has that opportunity to go right or left as to what they're doing with their old and try and move into the new. Because the new is exciting. It's fun. It gives energy. It brings on all sorts of wonderful opportunities that you wouldn't have if you didn't look out, you know, that side or that side. And it's like carrying a whole bunch of big rocks and big shopping bags, right? Like you're going, oh, this is my life right now. Here's my shopping, my community, my kids, my school, my money, my, all this stuff. And then you put that stuff down and you can be free and you look up and you can go, well, what do I really want to do? Do I want to live in the countryside? Do I want to live in a city? And it gives you more freedom to be able to look at doing maybe other things that you want to do. Story for you yesterday, oh my gosh. Yesterday we were at the lawyers. And our lawyer was sitting there and we were talking about $2 million homes, $4 million homes. I asked him where he lived <clears throat> and he turns around and he says, oh, I feel so sorry for the younger population of population of today, how are they ever going to be able to afford a house? And I looked at him and I said, what do you mean? That's the whole reason why the younger generation can't afford, because the whole media and everyone's perception is that they can't get in. Why aren't we painting the picture of how they can do it, rather than they can't do it? And why don't you just get into a flat now, stop spending money on alcohol, drink, drugs, rubbish, get in there somehow, find a way, borrow a big seal or borrow from family, credit card, whatever. You have to start here with nothing and gradually build yourself up. You can't just all of a sudden go in and buy a single family home. And, and the lawyer, he scratches his head because he's like got a lot of money, but sitting in this freaking great big tower. And he's not thinking of the how to do things outside the box. He's thinking of the, oh, we can't do it. All right, and that's my point. My point is you actually can do it but it's all how you position it and it's all how you embrace it. Bringing in the new baby and old was great, but the new is the new adventure. The new is like the driving forward. Embrace it, take it and fly forward, all right? Okay, there's money stuff involved, there's fears, there's risks, there's shall we do this, there's what about the old family, what about the community, what about the schools, what about the business, what about the shopping? Oh my God, talk about the baggage, all right? But if you can put the baggage down and then just look up in the sky and go, you know, the freedom side of it, let's step into that freedom side, then all that baggage will gradually take care of itself, really. Really, really, it's quite amazing. Which comes to my next point. You actually can do it. You'll find a way if your why is so important. But it's all how you embrace it. Over deliver on everything. We got a lot of content. Because I, oh my God, look, catfish. The full business. And I'm out of here. Check your baby.